Hi, everybody. Welcome to episode four of the Graceland Wool podcast. I am your host, Sarah Stevens. You can find me as Sarah Stevens on Instagram and Ravelry. No, Sarah Stevens on, excuse me, Instagram and Sarah Stevens 11 on Ravelry. I think that's right. Shoot, it might be backwards. Um, anywho, you can, I'll put, you know what, I'll put my information in the down, in the down bar, in the notes section. And, uh, you can also find me as Graceland Wool, uh, on Instagram and Ravelry. And you can also find me at GracelandWool.com. Look at that. That is how hot my coffee is. Look at that. You can see the steam coming out of my coffee. Okay, so I'm coming to you from Spokane, Washington, where I work and I live and I raise my sweet family. Um, it's it's kind of a one of the what is it called the smallest big towns you'll ever come across. Is what I've one degree of separation here or something like that. Um, so yeah. Thank you for returning viewers and thank you to new viewers. Guys, I am really hoping that sound quality today is 10 times better than it has been the last three episodes. I went out and bought myself a brand new mic. I'm hoping that this mic does the job, does the job well. I'm hoping that you guys will be able to actually hear me. That's the plan. It's the plan anyways. So I heard your call. Um, I heard everything that everybody said, and it was all, we can't hear you. So I'm hoping that we have that fixed now. Okay, enough coffee. Um, it is Sunday, October 30th. Tomorrow is Halloween, and just as promised, um, I have some prize information today in this podcast episode, as well as um, some works in progress. I have absolutely nothing finished. Nothing finished. And I, I got close. I got close to finishing some things this week, but did not actually do it. But that's okay. Sometimes we just, uh, we need to do that, right? I got a little sidetracked. I did not go on my regular plan. That's okay. And my week has been busy. I, you know, I I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the end of the month is just crazy all of the time, but for whatever reason this year, October, the end of October was crazier than anything else has ever been. I don't know why. I don't know why. But uh, between figuring out conferences for school, uh, which came really early this year, uh, working, revamping uh, logos and things like that, trying to figure out exactly what is exactly me so I can have that launched by 2017. And uh, then soccer, uh, which is still going, still going. Speaking of soccer, this weekend, I got to meet one of uh, one of my viewers and longtime followers on Instagram, so you know who you are. It was so good to finally meet you in person. We've chatted a few times back and forth, but it was fun to meet you on the soccer field. And this spring, when we head your direction or you head our direction, we have got to plan it better. So that way we can spend a little bit of time and stop by one of the coffee shops and grab a cup of coffee and knit for a little bit. So stay tuned. I'm hoping that uh, when we get our spring schedules out, we'll be able to do something like that because that would be super fun. Um, okay, so I've been thinking a little bit about segments and... I don't really know what I'm going to call them yet, but I think I'm going to, for the most part, break 
my podcast up into certain sections. Um, of course, there's going to be introductions, and I figured I might spend a couple seconds and talk to you a little bit about how my week has gone. I uh, realize this is mostly a knitting and fiber filled podcast, but the truth is, is that I, I my life isn't all just fiber all of the time. I do have some other things going on, and I'd love to be able to share those with you. Um, and then I'd love to have a works in progress and finished objects, just the things I've been working on and planning to knit or craft, and a section for acquisitions and a section for um, shop updates. So I figure. I figure those kind of sections, oh, and then knit along stuff and prizes. So I have quite a few. I just don't know what to call them. Maybe we'll just call them that. Maybe we'll just call them chatter. This is the chatter section. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But because uh, this is mostly a knitting and fiber podcast, I'm sure you've heard enough of me just chattering. Uh, we should probably get on with the show, right? This is really good coffee. It is peppermint flavored coffee. And I am um, just drinking it black, just black coffee. And it's just, the smell is out of this world. I don't even know where it came from. Uh, we have a big coffee jar that we keep on our kitchen counter. And uh, whenever we buy a new bag of coffee, my husband will grind it and throw it into the into the jar and I don't know what it is but it is pretty dang good he fair warned me I said I'm ready for um, bear with me as I say all things Christmassy I I'm been craving the smells of Christmas I've been craving the the tastes of Christmas um, it's usually all about the fall for me but this year, I'm just, I want a cranberry bliss bar from Starbucks so badly, it's not even funny. I want a white chocolate, peppermint mocha, um, my peppermint coffee. I've been drinking a lot of peppermint tea. I bought this most amazing candle from Bath and Body Works that just, it, it smells my whole house up. It's the winter candle, and I am in love with it. So all things winter. It's just all, I'm so into all things winter right now. Anyways, on with our show, right? Okay, um, I think I think I'm going to show you um, the things I've been working on next, which have been a few things actually, which is kind of cool. Um, I've gotten a little bit, gotten a little bit of knitting done. So, um, in my super sweet suburban stitcher bag, I got this bag last year from Diane, and it has all of these spider webs on it, and it's almost neon. It's so awesome. It has the large zipper like I like and it's just a white lining. It has her sweet logo on the side. Uh, was that going to get blown out? Yep. Okay. You can't see it. But anyways, in here I have a pair of socks that I have been busy working on and I am in love with them. So I showed you guys this pair of socks a couple weeks ago and this is on my glitz base. You guys remember the pixie dust? Colorway? Okay. I have a sock. I have a sock. I am working on these socks cuff down. 
um, let's see if you can see my sweet stitch marker. This is where I was the last time that I showed you these socks. And I have gotten the entire leg done. I got my heel done. I've got um, a portion of the foot going. There we go. And I just love them. Um, like I said, these are Hermione's Everyday Socks. I think it's by Erica Luter. Could be wrong, but I think that's correct. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm knitting these uh, with my Knitter's Pride um, carbons. I love these 2.0 millimeter needles. Um, these are so my favorite DPNs ever, ever, ever. So I'm knitting the body of my sock out of this color. And I just, I adore this color. I can't wait to uh, dye up some more of this. And then I paired it with the most fantastic pink. It's really not coming out on, on camera. It is much brighter than what you're seeing here. No matter where I where I hold it. Um, I still have a couple of these skeins available in the shop. This is my delight colorway. So um, those are still available. Um, love the way this sock is coming around. The Hermione's Everyday sock pattern, I've never knit it before. It is taking me a little bit longer than I typically like to knit on socks for, only because it's that purling every once in a while that kind of throws my my uh, knitting speed down the drain a little bit. But it is producing the most amazing squishy socks ever. I cannot wait to put these on my feet. So my glitz base is 75% um, superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% gold stellina. And there is something so fun about the idea of having some sparkly socks. So I'm going to, I went ahead and put the pink heel in and it's going to have a pink toe and I think it's just going to be perfect. Uh, I'm going to do my best to get the second sock cast on relatively quickly after I finish this one because I want to be able to wear them in the, in the winter still. I want to be able to wear these maybe they feel like January socks to me, truthfully. They feel like January socks. There was a podcaster that I was watching that is doing uh, Kristen uh, Bullenvine and the Yarn Gasm podcast. Uh, she is doing her box of socks cow. And I started doing the box of socks cow along. Uh, I t I'm terrible at posting the pictures, but I think I'm at pair number seven maybe or eight I don't know and anyways she is gonna save all of her socks until next year to wear them she's gonna keep them in her box for the entire year and then come 2017 she will have at least 12 pairs right now she has 13 she's finished 13 pairs and she will have them all for next year I thought what that is so smart um, how fun would it be to start the brand new year off with a new pair of, uh, or with, you know, 12 new pairs of socks. 
that you haven't touched yet. I don't know. It would be like Christmas all over again. So, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to not wear mine as well until 2017. Okay, so my next whip, um, I'm keeping this in my Stitch Marks the Spot bag. I love Stephanie's bags. Um, I have a couple of Stephanie's bags, and I got to actually hand pick out all of the fabric for all but one of the bags that I have of hers. And so, of course, I love them. I love them. I love them. But more importantly, I love the inner facing that she uses. I love that big zipper. And this is like the perfect size. Perfect, perfect size. Love, love, love it. Stephanie, you do amazing work. I cannot wait to purchase some more of your bags. So the outside is those sweet birds and then the inside is this uh, navy print with gold flowers. I love it. Love it, love it. All right. So if you guys remember, I had cast on to um, these Sugar Pop Fizz socks. This is the Sugar Pop Fizz colorway from Spun Right Round. And this is on her 80% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon base. Forgive me, I don't remember what, what she calls that base. And at the time that uh, I was showing this to you, I had um, I had cast on the cuff in this green, which I since did find that green, and my cat ran away with it. Uh, I cast into or cast on with the cuff with this green on the Beck and Stretch Merino from Three Irish Girls, and then I was working the leg in the Sugar Pop Fizz colorway, and I felt like the green actually didn't complement this colorway very much at all. It actually took away from it, so I ripped all of it out, and I recast on uh, to the cuff, and this time I did a one-by-one one ribbing, and I actually did a shorter cuff than I typically do. Um, and I found this pattern, and I don't even, I don't even know what pattern it is. I downloaded it. Oh, I downloaded it. I bet you I can tell you exactly. Um, exactly what pattern it is. I have to find my files, downloads. Um, okay, it is the Charade Socks by Sandra Park, and uh, I believe this is a paid-for pattern, I believe. Um, it, it's very straightforward. I want to see if there is a picture in her pattern that doesn't... give away anything. Here we go. Oh, that's totally blown out. Let's let's fix that. Do you even is that even helpful? I don't even know if you can really see it. Anyways, um it they are these really fantastic like semi textured socks like the top half is textured and the bottom half is not and the back of the leg I don't believe is either but I'm not doing the back of the leg textured because I wanted something that would help show off the stitches um, or the colorway but that I could still kind of not really pay attention to so I have gotten 
just a wee bit done on the leg. Come on, focus, dear. There we go. Um, not really enough that you can really see the design that it's producing, but I love it. Um, I think it is a much better pick uh, pattern choice with this specific uh, skein of yarn than what I had before. I think this one's going to be great. So I'm keeping these socks in my, um, like I said, in my Stitch Marks the Spot bag. I haven't knit on this pair nearly as much as I really wanted to um, oops, because I kind of got sidetracked by that other pair of socks and then as you will see in a minute I got I got sidetracked by another pair of socks so um, it's kind of sock planned knitting fail I guess I guess all of my planned knitting failed. So I got those going anyways. Okay, so then I had told myself I wasn't going to cast on anything else, but then I did. Um, in this sweet bag. I love this bag. Uh, it has Halloween all over it. It's the little zombie boy and the um, the voodoo boy. He's in his PJs. I just love this bag. <laughs> so anyways, um, to the inside, it's this green plaid. Truthfully, I don't know whose bag this was. I don't know who made this bag. I wish I knew who made this bag because I would love a few more of these drawstring bags. Um, I really like it. And I just think it's super sweet. So it has this woven ribbon tie that just works perfectly. I love it. Okay, so I kept walking by this pair of socks or this sock um, for the last few weeks. It's been on my shelf. It has needed me to finish it and I just, I only had one tube done and I just kept walking by and walking by and walking by and finally yesterday I just said you know what if I don't just pick this sock up or pick up this ball of yarn and get cast on to the other sock I'm never going to do it ever and that would be a tragedy because I need these socks in my life okay so I am using Desert Vista Dye Works um, in her Viso base. This is the Left Overture colorway. It is a 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, approximately 462 yards of a fingering weight self-striping yarn. A viewer uh, gave me this skein of yarn. It is such a special skein of yarn. She gave me a couple skeins actually and this is one of them. I had said on on a previous uh, Fiber by Design podcast episode when I was part of that podcast that I really wanted to work through the uh, Desert Vista Dye Works monthly socks and this was my April sock 
and I don't exactly know what happened at that point in time, but I never got it finished and I was out of the, I couldn't do it anymore. So I had finished this one tube. I did what looks like eight repeats, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight repeats. And then the ninth repeat is this cuff. And my plan was to cut in an afterthought heel. Um, this is as far as I got. So this week, I went ahead and picked up and started knitting my next sock. Now I'm almost done with my fourth repeat. So I have, I'm almost halfway done, I guess, before I'm going to need to, um, before I will need to start the cuff. I'm knitting this pair of socks um, toe up. I cast on to my second sock using um, my preferred cast on method, which is a Turkish cast on. I'm using my Haya Haya Sharps uh, 24 inch 2.0 millimeter needles and um, it's been a little bit since I've worked with them and I still love these needles. They are still my all-time favorite needles on the planet. Um, they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. But then today when I was looking at my sock this morning actually, I had sat down to knit a little bit more on my sock and it was laying next to the other sock. And I got quite a bit of a chuckle because when I cast on to the original sock, this one, I cast on 16 stitches and increased to 32 and then zoom, zoom, knit the rest of it. Well, I didn't bother to count um, the previous sock at all and I just went ahead and cast on to these guys and I was like hmm, 12 sounds good so I cast on 12 stitches increased to 32 and went about my way and I didn't even think anything of it until I was looking at these guys and you can see a huge difference is it enough to make me want to rip them out nope not gonna happen not even worried about it in the least. So one top, one sock will just have more toe room than the other one, I guess. I don't know. I am pretty excited about them. They're kind of uh, meditative to knit on, actually. I just am really enjoying them. Uh... I haven't decided what color heel I'm going to do, or maybe I'm just going to use the rest of this, you know, use this to knit the heels. I don't know. Part of me thinks that I should just use this color to knit the heel heels, and another part of me thinks a different color yarn could be fun. This colorway is very um, Washington State Cougar and while I didn't go to school there a dear friend of mine did so part of me thinks I need to finish these and gift these probably not for Christmas but I think that might be part of my game plan um, we'll see We'll see about that. I've gotten a little bit more selfish with my knitting as time has gone by. I, oh, that's my dog. She's sighing. Um, so those have been uh, cast on. And then my last project that I have been working on this week is in my freckled whimsy bag from Carrie. And it has the, it's her, it's the zombie love bag. I got this bag last year. 
I love this bag. I'm obsessed with this bag. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, it's her tall, soft nanny size. Uh, the inside fabric is the same as the outside up here. I am just thrilled. It, now, I I don't think I have the skein of yarn here. I think I boxed it up, but it did come with a skein of yarn as well. And, and I think I might pull that out soon and work, work on it. I would really like that. Um, but in this bag, I am housing my shawl. So this is the um, Party on My Needles shawl by Hohi Locatelli. And let me see if I can... There we go. That is what it's going to look like when it's all done. It is a paid for pattern. And I uh, last week I told you that I really, really wanted to um, knit on this until I got to a color change. And that did not happen. Um, mostly because I got sidetracked with uh, Desert Vista Dye Work socks that I have not knit on in forever and I got sidetracked by the other pair of socks. However, I did make a little bit of progress so I did want to show you um, that I have I have made ever so slightly some progress on this. I am knitting this right now um, out of Graceland Wool 8020 um, in the Whiskers colorway. And I am thrilled. I think this shawl is going to be huge. I think it's going to block out really, really large. I, I have to get to a certain number and I have to to 84 I have about 30 more rows to go and then I can change colors for the very first time so I I am like beyond excited about that I picked out a couple more skeins of Graceland wool to use um, for this entire project and um, that makes me really happy I think the colors are a perfect perfect match. I don't have the rest of the colors with me because I um, I have them housed in a different bag actually in my Mrs. Brown's bag and I'm using my Speckle Bloomsy bag um, for the main part of the shawl mostly because I really wanted to use my Halloween bags before Halloween was over um, I don't know. I, I kind of just realized the beginning of this week that I October was almost done and I still hadn't really used any of my October bags. I have a bin downstairs and inside my bin I have some large Ziploc bags and everything is kind of seasonal in there. And while I use some of these bags all of the time, like I'll use this again in February because it's very Valentine's Day also, but I love it because it's zombies. Um, some of them I only use at certain times, like my Christmas bags. I really only use them at Christmas time. So, and I have some um, woodland creature ones that really only screen November. So I'm going to pull those out, which I'm really excited about. Okay, 
That's all of my knitting. That's it. That's all of it. Now, I feel like that's a lot. Um, I, I do. I really feel like that's a lot. I did get some dyeing done this week, um, too. But next week is my big dyeing week, so I'm excited about that. But I also have some acquisitions. Um, I was so lucky. I made it in on an update for um, a collaboration between Stacy of Mustache Yarns, uh, Diane of Suburban Stitcher, and Martha of Tuft Woolens. And when it showed up in my mailbox, I literally screamed out loud. Um, I have to show you. Okay. So, first of all, Here's the bag from Carrie. It has the gray linen that I am so in love with. It has the sweetest apples and arrow theme on the top half of the bag. And I am in love with this raspberry colored tag. So in love with it. So this is the sock, Carrie's sock nanny size, and the inside fabric is the diagonal stripes, but it is this lavender, lavender color, and so it just it's perfect. I'm so in love with this bag. Okay, so. Um, if the bag wasn't enough, I also, in this little collaboration, I got, I got the skein of Perfect Sock Self Striping from Stacy of Mustache Yarns. This one is called Apple Picking. There we go. Um, I cannot wait to cast this pair of socks on. Uh, it, it really is screaming spring to me. So I might not cast it on until spring. I might hang on to it until then. I have a couple Stacy skeins of yarn. I thought I had three, but I guess I only, I guess I only have these two. I guess I did cast on to the other one. Anyways, um, so I, I, I kind of want to hang on to it. But I, I don't know. So this is two skeins of the perfectly uh, matched half skeins that are all twisted together and I love that she does that it makes it so enjoyable to knit on these so my bag and my yarn and then I also got goodies from Martha which came in the kit yes yes they did but a lot a lot from Martha so Okay, so super cute and funny and whimsical uh, that they added these caramel apple suckers to the kit too. So I love that. But Martha has in here um, one of her bars of her Tuft Woolen sock. This is the lavender apple scent. Oh. It is amazing. It is amazing. 
So you get one bar of this, plus you get one bar of a lug of her luxury bath bar, also in the lavender apple. And look at that, you guys. Look at the top of it. I don't know if I can use it. It's beautiful. I don't know. It, I don't know. But then, if that wasn't enough, you also got one of her little mini um, hard lotions. Also in the lavender apple scent. And these are my favorite little things. I absolutely adore these teeny tiny little hard lotion sticks. Um, it just looks like a little deodorant stick. And it has a wheel. You just turn the wheel and it goes up. I keep one in my purse. I keep this one in my desk drawer right here. Royal Apicary. Um, And now I have another one. This one might go in my makeup bag. So huge. I, guys, I cannot tell you enough times how amazing these kit collaborations are with the three of those ladies. If you ever have the chance to snag one, just do it. I know that Carrie um, has pre-orders up right now for this same bag. So if you missed out on the kit, and you really love the bag, you can still order it. Um, I think she has limited pre-orders available. So pop on over there. She is on Etsy, Freckled Whimsy on Etsy, and check it out. Uh, she has a bunch of bags in the shop right now, but that one is probably one of my favorites. Okay. So next up, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, the Knit Along Prize for the October socks. So uh, you technically still have one more day to enter socks into the October sock Knit Along thread on the Ravelry group. Um, I'm going to close that thread down most likely on Tuesday morning um, at some point early. So uh, you may have a little bit of wiggle room, but don't plan on don't plan on it. So plan to get those guys in by midnight of October 31st, and then via random um, number generator, I'm gonna pull a winner to receive a fun prize because you participated along with our very first um, knit along. So I went ahead and rounded up. Some goodies for this prize. I thought that um, I would order a package of stitch markers from Fringe Supply and of course I ordered myself one too. You can't just buy um, one, you need two. So um, one for me, one for you. I also put together um, a contrasting heel and toe set for you guys. Um, I went ahead and dyed up. I thought a color that would be neutral enough, like if you, uh, pretty much anybody may love it. So um, I also did it in two, two bases. So I did the bigger skein on my 80-20 base, which is my favorite. Um, base to knit socks out of. I absolutely love this base. But then I also gave you a um, 25 gram mini skein of a little bit brighter blue um, in a new base for me. And this base is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. And you will have enough yarn to get some pretty durable heels and toes on those socks. Um, so I haven't quite named it yet, this base. I'm 
still picking out some names. But I'm uh, I'm hoping to have that nailed down before this puppy goes out. So look for that base in the shop pretty soon. Um, so the winner of the October Socks Prize is going to receive a contrasting heel toe set and a package of um, fringe company or fringe supply company stitch markers. These are just amazing rubber stitch markers. I love these. Um, I love that they don't ever get stuck on anything when you're working on things with patterns or shawls or anything. They're one of my favorites. So stitch markers set. I'm super excited to see who wins. Um, so I will pull a winner on the next podcast episode. So stay tuned for that. Um, in other news, come Tuesday morning, I will be opening a, um, I'll be locking that October thread and I'll be opening the November socks thread. So go ahead and you can start, um, putting some socks in there. Um, uh, they, they just have to be finished in November of 2016. And in addition to November's socks knit along, that will also be the ending of the, um, hat along that we've got going on too in the thread. So, uh, we will be in November pulling a winner for both the uh, November socks and then the October November hat along. So pop on over there and get those going if you have a chance. Um, they, some of these projects are mind blowing to me. Um, I wish that I had the patience uh, to knit some of them because you guys are really knocking it out of the park. And then the last knit along that we have going on right now is the, um, I, I think I need to keep your neck warm along and it's for shawls or cowls or anything of that nature, scarf. And that one will, won't close until the end of December. So, uh, pop on over there and check that one out as well. Uh, there are some really beautiful shawls that are happening in that thread. If you need some inspiration on something, I suggest heading over to either one of, or any of those three, really, and you will definitely find something that you cannot resist working on. So, um, as for everything else, I think, I think we're done for the night. So, Thank you guys for hanging out with me for this time, almost an entire hour, if you made it that long. And, you know, I would love to know if this microphone helps at all. Please let me know in the comments below if this is something that is helpful um, or if it, if it really didn't do anything at all. I'm really hoping it works. Uh, no guarantees as with anything, but, um, any, any input would be greatly appreciated. So please, please, please let me know. And if you enjoyed this podcast, um, if you wouldn't mind just, uh, hitting that thumbs up button or sharing this podcast. So that way people who enjoy podcasts similar to this one can find it easily. That would be fantastic. I do know that there are so many podcasters out there that you could be watching. So thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time um, and spending it with me and uh, hopefully knitting along or sipping on something warm. So until next week, I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead of you and um, I will see you again later. Thanks so much. Bye.